All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to introduce you to the brand new line of NOCO jump boxes. It's the GBX series, and today I'm gonna to explain the difference between the old GB series and the new GBX. So you guys stick around, because these things are cool. guys so if you've watched my channel for any amount of time you know that I'm a huge fan of the NOCO jump boxes. Before I start this video I want to be absolutely clear this is not a sponsored video by NOCO. They did not send me these products. They didn't allow me to use them to show or anything. I'm not affiliated with NOCO in any way shape form or fashion other than I'm a fan and I think they make really good stuff. So now that we've got that out of the way and you understand this is not a sponsored video, we'll move forward. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm a huge fan of the NOCO jump boxes. I've used them for a long time. I've got uh, one in almost every single size that they make in the GB series. So I want to show you some of mine that I've got and we'll take a look at the difference of them. So all the NOCOs, when you get them, they come in a box like this, and they've got different accessories with them. They all come with a carrying bag, and that way you can store it with all the accessories that they give you. For instance, this was the very first jump box that I bought. I bought it from the Snap-on truck, and it is the GB70 made by NOCO. I actually keep this one in my pickup, my personal pickup. And you can see the design how it's made. And this has got the same clamps that the new GBXs have on them. I prefer this clamp style better than this one on the GB150, and I'll show you the difference. Like I say, both of these that's out of the box here are the old models. They are the GB, not the GBX. But this is the 70. I like this size, it works really well. And you can see it's got 2,000 cranking amps, or so they claim when this one was produced. They also give you some accessories that you can use, some different charging cables so you can charge it. These actually all charge by a USB, a micro USB. That's the old style. They've upgraded it on the new ones. And it comes with some different 12 volt adapter plugs that you can charge it on the go. And here is the older model GB150. I love this box. I keep it in the shop, use it a lot. It'll crank pretty much anything you throw it on. The only negative that I have is the way the clamps are designed. You can see it's quite a large area that it takes to do that. And I'm gonna show you the difference with the new style and it makes them a lot better. But as you can see here, it shows 4,000 amps cranking power on the GB150. This is one of my favorite boxes for the shop use because you never know what size vehicle you're gonna be dealing with. And this one pretty much covers it all. Now we're gonna take a look at the new GBX line that they have. And we'll start with a small one. They've got some smaller ones than these, but this is like the area that I like to stay in in this range here. So this is the new GBX 55. It has 1,750 amps. And if you'll notice on the front of the box, it's supposed to crank a seven and a half liter gas engine or a five liter diesel. If you notice, it also has the new style clamps. They're really nice clamps. They're all copper, as you can see inside. Obviously, if you watch the B-roll before this started, you can see that up close in some of the pictures. But the GBX 75, is the one that's going to replace the GB70. 
It has 2,500 amps. And supposedly NOCO went back to the drawing board and they had their amps certified and checked and all of this. And this one was overrated on the GB or the GB series, sorry. And the GBX is supposed to be more accurate. Um, one of the things I do want to point out when we get into the next size up with the clamp size, there's a couple of different features on the GBX versus the GB that's pretty important. So you guys pay attention. But you can see the size is pretty much the exact same um, uh, between the GB70 and the GBX75. And here is the box for it. You can see it does a 8.5 liter gas or a 6.5 liter diesel. Very handy little box, super small, easy to store. They charge really well. Um, they have changed these to where it's a USB-C charging port versus the micro USB. And that is a huge, huge upgrade in my opinion, just because the micro USB, if you put it in wrong, it's dark and you're in a hurry, you're cold, it's raining or whatever, and you're trying to charge your box, you can turn it over the wrong way. You'll push the charging port up inside and you've just demolished your box. But here is the GBX 155. Here is the box for it. It does a 10 liter gas and an eight liter diesel. So this thing is a beast, as you can see. It has 4,250 amps of power in it. Here it is next to the old one that has 4,000 amps on the GB150. Now, what I was talking about earlier with the clamp design, as you can see here with them held side by side, this one's a lot harder to use when you're using it on cars with side post batteries. It's big, it's bulky, it's hard to get in and out of there. I like this size a lot better. If you're just working on big trucks or top posts, these work fine, but this is a huge upgrade in my opinion. It's a lot better design. I definitely like it better and the new GBX. Having the USB-C charging ports on them is a huge upgrade as well. I'll show you the charging ports. It has two USB outs. On this side, it has a USB-C in or out. So you can use it in either one that you choose. It has intelligent charging features in it to know which way the current needs to run, either in the battery or out of the battery. So that's a good upgrade. Also, one of the differences I do want to point out between the two boxes, on the GBX, you notice there is no um, voltage meter that's built in, where the GB series, it has a voltage meter here. Once you connect it to the battery, it'll show you what voltage is there. Um, if you guys are not familiar with NOCO, they're really great products. They have a, um, a safety feature built in where if you hook it up backwards on the battery, it won't do anything. It don't throw sparks like some of the old school battery powered jump packs that you used to have. When you hook it up, there's no spark in, there's no arc in. If you hook the polarity up backwards, it'll simply just not, not work. It'll show an error on here. I've had a lot of people tell me that they didn't understand how these work. They put them on vehicles that had a super low charge in the battery or maybe the battery is completely dead and they couldn't get it to work. And that's one of the safety features that they've built in. If you notice here on the front, it has an override button. You press and hold it and you'll notice the battery meter will run back and forth rapidly. And that's giving you pretty much everything the box has in it to start the vehicle that you're trying to start. Like I say, I've used NOCO for quite a long time. I'm a huge fan of them. Um, the GBX55 would be a great addition for you guys to put in your wife's vehicle or in your personal car because nothing's worse than coming out of the grocery store or the mall or wherever you're at. You go out to crank your vehicle and it don't start. The most, probably the most aggravating thing past that is having a flat and now with the portable inflators, that kind of helps things out a good bit as well. But um, these NOCO boxes are pretty affordable for what they are. They last a long time. They're pretty heavy duty. They do have a LED light that's built in on them that you can use to see, like if you've got a flat on the side of the road or even use it while you're hooking it up. You notice the battery pack is not on because no lights are on. 
so you can turn the pack on. You can see this one's at 50% charge. Illuminate the surface, hook up your cables, and you're good to go. Another thing I do want to point out too, it's pretty important when you put these on there, um, they give you like a 60 second time from once it's connected to the battery to go and start the vehicle. And if you don't do it in that amount of time, it will shut itself off and you'll have to come back out and restart it. But these are super safe, super handy, super small, super compact. I have nothing but good things to say about the NOCA jump packs. They're lightweight. They come in a nice carrying bag and you always need to have a good jump pack. But anyway, guys, that's my video today. Hopefully I showed you enough differences between the GBX series and the old GB series. And that way you can kind of be more familiar with the products. Like I say, the GB series was underrated, or sorry, overrated in power. So they went back to the drawing boards and these are supposed to be a lot more accurate with the, what they can do. So like always guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Take a look at some of these NOCO jump boxes. I think you're gonna be highly impressed when you get one and you try them yourself. They're hard to beat, especially for the size and the weight of them. They're just great little jump boxes. Anyway, that's my video today. Hopefully you like it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Check over there for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. It's totally free. You guys have a great week. We will catch you next time.